What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hop Farm. It's been two days, so you know what that means. Time to turn this compost pile again. Now the last video you saw in this series was a combination of three different videos all put together into one. So it was the build, the first turn, and the second turn. So that puts us in the eighth day, the third turn. We need to do this for 18 days total. So there's gonna be a total of nine videos if I spread it all out together, all out, one video at a time. But I'm putting at least three videos in each one so you guys don't have to watch nine different videos. So let's open this up and show you what it looks like on the outside. Start to turn it, show you what it looks like on the inside, and then we'll come back again in two days and do it again. You can definitely feel it's heating up. Let me go grab the thermometer real quick, stick it in the top. See if we can see that. It's about 84 degrees out here. We go in just a little bit. Stick that right in there. And I'll come get you. All right, so we'll let that heat up a little bit. Walk around this pile. Still looks like grass clippings. As you can tell back here on the north side of the pile, we're getting like a little mold, some fungus action back here, helping breaking down these grass clippings even quicker. check the temperature we are at oh yeah we're there guys we're at 160 looks like we're gonna stay right about 160 ish so good it's not reaching the 165 and over and it's definitely over 122 so we're in that range time to turn this thing over to the next spot going to feel how wet this pile is take this thermometer out it looks pretty moist. It feels pretty wet too. So we're not going to have to do a whole lot of watering down when we turn this. But I definitely want to get make sure I get this stuff around the outside in the middle so we can get it worked worked over by our millions of workers in here, our bacteria and microorganisms. I can tell this pile has lost a little bit of its volume which it's smaller than when I started. That tells me there was a little too much nitrogen in this pile. Like I could have added more uh, dry grass clippings to the green grass clippings. Because you really want, when you're, when you're making this pile, it should stay about the same size the whole time. And this is pretty matted down. So I need to make sure I fluff it up real good when I'm turning it here and make sure we get that oxygen all in the pile. We don't want it to go anaerobic on us. I don't know if y'all can see all this steam flying off of it. Can y'all see this? There's tons of steam coming off. It's 80, 85 degrees out here. So we got about halfway through the pile. Let's give you an up close and personal look on what it looks like now. A lot darker. Still distinguish the grass clippings and all that stuff in there. It's definitely a lot darker, starting to merge, marry together more. Now, if you find your pile's getting too hot, what you can do is you can add more carbon to your pile. Especially, you might run into that during the summer. If your pile's getting too hot or it's starting to stink, um, add some more dried grass clippings or some leaves shredded newspapers, really fine shredded newspaper, even uh, really fine chopped up wood chips can work. It'll help mellow out the pile a little bit. And the opposite is for if it's not heating, heating up enough, add more nitrogen to it. More green grass clippings. Any type of green material. Manures from animals, animal manures is high in nitrogen. Coffee grounds is high in nitrogen. There is a little bit of a smell of a, not quite an anaerobic, it's getting close. So I don't want to add too much water to this. The water will um, actually help push out the air as it's going through. So I want to make sure we get a good amount of air in here because these grass clippings are really starting to get matted down. As you can tell, it's like one sheet. And there's no air inside of the middle of that sheet. So we need to make sure we fluff stuff like that up. And pieces like that are a little more anaerobic 
than the looser pieces. There's not as much oxygen in there. on this pile well we learned that we had to fluff it up good because it was getting a little bit anaerobic the grass clippings were really starting to scrunch together and be like a, a mat kind of all woven in together and the air couldn't get in there so we had to fluff it up real good we didn't need to water it this time very much we may have watered it a little bit too much last time so what we need to watch for on the next turn when we come in if it's still, if it's starting to stink more, more anaerobic, if it's really starting to heat up too much, or if it's too wet, we may need to add a little bit more carbon in here. Some more dried glass grass clippings. I've got plenty of it around. Um, we'll use, we'll use, keep using the same material. We won't change it up. We'll keep the same experiment going, just using one material. So you guys hold on tight, and I will be right back to do a whole nother pile. Boom, just like that. Two days are gone. We're back. Pile is definitely looking a little bit different. It's looking darker, the pieces are starting to blend together more, and it's getting smaller, which is still telling me that it's burning up a little bit too much. We may need to add a little dried grass clippings that I have back here to the pile to make sure it keeps its volume. Remember, we need that, that one cubic meter, one cubic yard, three foot by three foot by three foot volume be able to keep the action up in this pile to keep it heated up to the temperature it needs to be. We're going to check the temperature, walk you around, and then we'll turn it. Grab the thermometer first. It's saying it is 70 degrees out here. I doubt you can see that. 70 degrees. It's got a lot cooler. It just got done raining. The tarp was on the pile, so it didn't get all mushy. All right, I'm coming. So like I said, it's really getting darker, a lot darker. You can tell the stuff I pulled out of there. It's even darker than the stuff on the outside, which is a good thing. You can still distinguish when you get really, really close, the grass clippings and the different weeds. Oh, I thought that green thing may have been something sprouting, but it was just a little green leaf or something. Okay, good, good. Nothing's sprouting, that's good. Let's check the temperature. Here we go. Well, 146, 148 almost. So that's good. It's in between the 122 and the 165 mark. It is small. It's not as tall as I want it to be. So we're going to add a little bit of material. You can tell we've got three piles sitting out here with dried material we can grab from. So I'm going to grab a little bit of that and bring it up and let's turn it. got our dried. Now it's been sitting there just as long as this has and you can tell the difference. Let me grab this. Just simply because of how we built the compost pile with the green material besides just the brown material. The difference in the two materials. Look at this. How much darker this one is compared to this one. Active compost pile. Not active compost pile. All right, we're gonna start with a little bottom layer of the new material, dried new material, and let's rebuild. Now, if I would've put this together correctly 10 days ago, we wouldn't be adding new material right now. I missed one important, I guess it's a step, but one thing I didn't think about um, when you're building a, a, a quick 18 day compost pile like this is you need to have a 25 to 1 carbon ratio. So I definitely, carbon to nitrogen ratio. So I definitely had a lot more nitrogen in my pile than I did carbon. And that's one reason why it's shrinking down so much and probably why it's heat, heat, heated up so quickly. Uh, usually the first turn, it, you know, the, after the first four days, it doesn't quite get that hot as it did in the 155 range. So that was another sign that it was too much nitrogen because it was heating up too fast. If I had even more nitrogen, it would get too hot. And thankfully, we didn't reach that zone over the 165 zone. So we should be good with uh, not killing off any of the 
any of our workers in here. Let's check the center of this pile, see how it's doing on the moisture level or the wetness. I'm gonna keep saying the wetness test, okay? Just, just because. It's pretty moist, it's pretty damp. Let's do a wetness test. We got it in a ball. Nothing's dripping out of it. It's staying in a ball real good. It's pretty, pretty, I barely need to add anything to it to get it to the point to where we need it. Just barely dripping. I also need to factor in these dried brass clippings here because they're completely dry. We'll add a little moisture on top of them. We also want to try to keep that volume all the way to the top of your pile. So if you just start with a, you know, a big amount on the bottom and then it gets to like this amount on the top, the top's not going to do anything because it's not at that volume it needs to be in. So you're starting at three feet at the bottom, try to be three feet at the top. Now is this going to slow down our 18 day process because we're adding new stuff? Should we start a new 18 day process? No, don't start a new 18, 18 day process. And yes, this probably will slow it down a little bit. If you need to turn it one or more two more times after the 18 day, it's okay. It's not like you failed at making compost because you had to turn it two more times. You just had to turn it two more times. There's a lot of steam coming off this. I don't know if y'all can see it. With it being cooler today in the 70s, well, right now anyways, because it just rained and the sun's behind the clouds and going down right now at the moment. It's about 7 o'clock. Steam is really coming off this pile. Let me give you a shot of the center of the pile. Show you what that material is looking like now. It's a little different than the outside when I give you the first walk around. A lot darker. A lot darker. A lot of uh, mold or bacteria or fungus breaking this down. It's a fungus. It's sticky. It smells like compost too. It, does, it doesn't have an anaerobic smell, which I thought it might with as much volume as it's lost. Finding on this turn, I'm having to pick apart the pieces a little bit more. They're really matted together because I guess it's just grass clippings. I've never done them with only grass clippings in this manner before, so you're learning along with me. They're pretty matted together, and like we know, oxygen's a very important key to keep it from going anaerobic and to keep the compost pile heated up and working for you so I'm having to pick it apart just a little bit more once I turn it and that would explain also some of the volume loss because it went from really fluffy to compact leaves and grass clippings are my favorite two things to use mixed together that's it Let's give you a walk around see what it looks like so we got our materials added in Everything's looking good, mixed in together. I'm gonna wet it down one more time. And we will be good to go. I'm gonna put one more turn on this video. So we'll be back in two days. You guys will have to wait about 0.5 seconds. So, like I said, it wouldn't take long. I got a confession for you. It's been longer than two days. I was supposed to turn this yesterday and it was raining cats and dogs all day long. So I didn't get out here to turn it. So instead of two days, we're about 12 hours later than two days. So instead of 48 hours, we're at 60 hours on this pile from the last time we turned it. Um, and I forgot my thermometer. I didn't bring my lawnmower down here today. It's sitting in the lawnmower. So 
I'm not going back all the way up there to get it. We'll just have to do the ouch test and go from there. Remember last turn, I had to add some more material to it because I felt like the pile was getting too small. I still wanted to keep that three foot by three foot by three foot volume, so I added a little bit to it. Let me show you what it looks like. Now this video would have been the sixth video in my previous compost videos. So this is the fifth turn, the 12th day, actually technically 13th day because we missed one. We will turn it two days from now, not one day from now. We're not gonna, we're still gonna do the two day turn. We'll just dismantle it, put it back together and wait two more days before we turn it again. The pile's getting really dark. Let's go in on it a little bit and feel it. You can definitely feel it's warm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's warm in there guys. Okay, I did expect it to cool down quite a bit this turn. Cool down. It does feel a little cooler than it should be. That might have been because I gave it a day too long. So let's turn this thing over, guys. Get it to the next spot, get it working again. It's still pretty matted down, so I'm gonna concentrate on fluffing this stuff up so we can get oxygen in there. Check how wet it is. The wetness test. It is nice and moist. If I'm gonna add any, it's gonna be a little bit. Any water, that is. Show you what the middle of the pile looks like. You can tell it's a totally different color. Bunch of fungus or mildew or, you know, a fungus breaking it down really quickly. It's warmer, a lot warmer in here, right in the middle. Here's what we've turned. Let's, uh, let's give it a good quick squeeze, see how wet and or dry we are here. It's going into a ball really easily. I have a little bit of moisture coming out on my fingers. I'm just gonna barely, barely wet this thing down. The rest of the volume, the size of it is looking good. I think adding the material we did last turn helped. It's still at least three foot tall. The materials are really starting to mash together now, guys. It's getting a lot darker, sticky. You can tell the sugars are really starting to break down in the grass clippings. And it's mushing together really well. It's getting harder and harder to tell between the grass clippings. And we've got three more turns and we're done. So y'all are gonna have to wait on me at least a few more days because it takes six days to, for me to at least get the compost finished and turned and then I need to edit and all that good stuff. So you're gonna see me hopefully within the next four to six days with a finished product. If you enjoyed this video, if you're enjoying this series, smash that like button, that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, subscribe would be down there in the corner or up here in this corner one of the two I always forget and if you're interested guys check out these videos that are popping in right now it's all about the previous compost video I did and all the other compost videos that I've done later y'all